advertising executive uses uh, has been in place since the mid 1970s, uh, and the concept of its working is pretty well grounded in the local government approach to flexible working, um, which provides staff with the facility within time bands each day to manage their time with core periods set aside to ensure that the business needs are, are met at those times. But as with the any system, it still has an element of discretion and that we obviously will provide flexibility to the managers who may require staff to be in over longer periods of time in order to provide customer services as opposed to back office working where the time periods when staff need to be present can be much more flexible in terms of earlier starts uh, and later finishes. Um, the main benefits we would, from a, from a staff point of view, is that uh, obviously staff have, have a home life, they have other commitments in their life, but they do have a commitment to work. Uh, but they have to take into account uh, travelling to work, uh, childcare arrangements, possibly looking after elderly parents. Uh, many staff, apart from flexible working, may well work part-time to cater for that. But in terms of the normal working day, it gives staff a lot of flexibility in terms of the time that they can start during the day uh, and the time they can finish in the evening. And by allowing them to, to build up time, they can also see a benefit comes from them in planning time off by if the part of the organisation they work in can avail of them working quite long hours for certain parts of the month. At the end of that month they see the benefit of maybe taking a day or two days leave uh, to, to offset that time they've worked. From the downside point of view that can lead to problems for managers. Uh, obviously that's uh, why staff may be able to work longer. They are having to bear in mind does that work or time of work reflect the volumes of information or the volumes of work that are going through the office at a particular time. So if they're a customer unit facing uh, department then clearly people are going to come to the office generally between 9 and 5. With staff working from 7 to 9 unless they've got some paperwork to do may have a benefit but really they need staff to be there from 9 to 5 not there from 10 until 4 and so managers will always be trying to juggle that the staff are present at the times that they need them. And equally, staff who can be allowed to build up a lot of time is what is the impact of them taking time off, possibly later in, in the month, when it may well coincide with what is a peak of work. So for the line manager, they are constantly trying to ensure that there's a fair balance between what the staff can get as a benefit from flexible working, but ensuring that the department they're running is still effective. Again, because we've had the benefit of the system, a flexible working system being in place for so long, certainly from the trade union perspective, it was uh, a lot easier to implement and make changes as we developed the system over the, over the years. Uh, and again, the unions in, certainly in Northern Ireland, would be working with a lot of other public sector employers with similar flexible working arrangements. Some variations, some are not just as generous in terms of the amount of time they allow off. They may have much more, uh, many more rules around the attendance issues each day when staff should be there. But generally we have found that the, they would see it as a benefit. They feel their members uh, are gaining something from this and as long, and that they would accept that there are the needs of the business, particularly in a public service where customers have to come first in terms of their needs that uh, these can be accommodated uh, by the flexible working arrangements and have been very helpful in introducing certainly some of the changes we've made in recent years as we have developed the uh, Softworks solution towards how we allow staff to self-service and self-manage their time on the system. Compliance, we believe that by having a let's say an electronic system, a computerised system, to record time accurately, to record the reasons why staff are absent. Uh, absent has allowed um, compliance to be fulfilled, both from the individual's point of view and from their manager's point of view. And within the system, personnel have also been able to ensure that compliance rules that we would have from our policies are properly adhered to. And if there is any cause to uh, 
review or to deal with someone's attendance issues, we are dealing with hard information. It is not when was somebody there. We know exactly when someone was there. We know how much time they have taken off. We know whether that time been taken off does comply with all our policies. Its main impact, again, because we've had an acceptance that flexible working is part and parcel of it. Labour relations has not really found itself having to deal with any major issues. Um, we have probably one or two small uh, policies that we've allowed to perpetuate over time which don't reflect where the business is now as compared to maybe 25 years ago. Uh, and those may well lead to, to some uh, fairly hard discussions with the trade union side when it comes to making those changes. But again, we would build up the fact that there have been a greater number of benefits given to staff as a result of being able to work flexibly. Uh, and we've got to both agree, trade union side and uh, management, that there is this balance that we're seeking to strike overall has still been fair to the employee and there are easy ways of, of negotiating this through the labour relations process to, to, to reach a satisfactory conclusion. It's probably as a result of many of the changes in um, employment legislation uh, with a greater emphasis towards work-life balance and to various initiatives taken through the European Union in terms of, of working time, uh, then many employers have seen it as being not just about compliance but actually providing uh, a means to help their workforce balance their work and life and from that they get the benefit. Those staff are generally much happier, they're not under stress as a result of trying to juggle uh, two aspects, two important aspects of their life. Uh, and that, in turn, by having that flexibility as to when staff can work and even day by day virtually uh, we can accommodate that flexibility, is that that often can actually meet the demands that the business have which may come in cycles uh, and by getting staff to, to work, it, work in with that then really everyone gains at the end of it.